What is up, low heat sneakerheads? I have a fire pair of New Balances. I've been just, I've just been hoarding New Balances lately. I can't get enough of them. Super comfortable shoes, uh, and I don't know. Maybe I'm entering in that latter period of my life where I'm just. Now I know why dad's shoes, you know, why dads wear dad shoes. They're more comfortable. I'm just, uh, I, I'm a sucker for comfort these days. I'm a cozy boy. Uh, before we open those, a little uh, warm-up unboxing, if you will. Just got this in the mail. This is the Cause Kid Cuddy collab for um, the anniversary of his yeah, Kid Cuddy signature album. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, I got two t-shirts, two t-shirts. I did not get the vinyl, but, um, I did own the CD. Uh, what is it? What was the CD? Man on the Moon? No. You, you know which one I'm talking about. I don't want to screw it up. Um, but yeah, I'm stoked to have these. These, of all the t-shirts, the collab t-shirts that are like 50 bucks, 60 bucks, the Cause ones, the Travis Scott ones, the... Cactus Plant Flea Market McDonald's ones. This, these are the only shirts that I've gotten that are like reselling, actually reselling. I mean, you could get them. They were uh, available. I don't know if they were like, you know, made to order uh, or what, but they didn't, you know, they dropped, they didn't sell out. And these are actually worth their value, if not more, which is kind of crazy, which is not what it's about. Look, I'm, I'm opening these. I'm going to wear these. Um, I really wanted these, and I'm stoked that I got them. But it's heavyweight, heavyweight t-shirt material. There's the front hit, full back hit, which is kind of dope. Um, yeah, uh, kind of a little oversized. Uh, we'll be. I'm a chunky boy right now, hoping to be a skinny boy. But well, these will even be big on me. Um, but yeah, I really, I really like these. And I'm glad I got them. And there's that one. Kind of sick, right? But yeah, big Kid Cudi fan. I'm, I'm sure most of you are. I, I don't know many people who aren't Kid Cudi fans. But yeah, these were each like, I don't know, 50, 60 bucks. A lot for a t-shirt, no doubt. Um, but collab heavyweight, seems like decent material. Double graphics, uh, which is dope on this one at least. And then like a thick, heavy painted graphic on that one. So, very stoked to have these. Let me know what you think in the comments. My first plug for the video. And with that, I'll say just before I unbox these, please go ahead and subscribe. Use your thumb, finger, mouse, trackpad, rollerball, whatever. It takes a second. It's free and I'd appreciate it. I notice every single subscription when that number goes up, it uh, brings a little joy to my day. So, if you want to be uh, kind to me. I would appreciate that. Also, if you don't like the shoes, you don't have to thumbs down the video. You can uh, just thumbs up and leave a comment if you don't like the shoes. That is an option. Uh, if you don't like the video itself, I mean, that's one thing. Go ahead, thumbs down. But just throwing it out there. Throwing it out there. Yeah. Um, so I hit on these, believe it or not, from New Balance. On drop day, what are these? The New Balance, Sam Be The Time, uh, collaboration with Salehi Bembry. Um, oh, I guess according to the box there, it says the first collaboration project between Salehi and New Balance Athletics, Inc. So I guess that's a division of <clears throat> New Balance. He has done other collabs with New Balance, one of them being the Peace Be the Time 574 Yurt uh, with Whistle and All on the back heel. I love these. We'll get into more of these later. I did an unboxing video if you want to check that out, but now I've worn them a bunch. Um, and he also, the first collaboration with New Balance was the Water Be The Guide 2002s. Uh, maybe ours, 2002 ours, 2002s, whatever. New Balance 2002s. Those were fire. They were in blue. I really wanted those. Missed out on those. Was able to get these. These kind of sat a little bit, certain colorways especially. These were very affordable and are still, I think, on the secondary market. Um... These, however, <clears throat> I knew they were going to be popular, but that being said, either sign of the market, sign of the shoe economy, who knows what, sign of the regular economy, these were available on drop. Now, I was ready. I was right at the ready when they dropped on New Balance. I was quick fingers, 
Unfortunately, my size sold out, so I, I just snagged a pair for the homie, Connor, Connie's Kicks, uh, snagged a pair in his size. So, you know, medium luck. Uh, I knew he wanted these. And so I didn't get, unfortunately, get a pair my size, but I was able to hook him up for retail, which, you know, that's what you should, should do, you know, for your brothers and sisters in the sneaker uh, sneaker world when you can do it. It's always nice to get your own pair, but it's, it feels good to you know, secure a pair for your friends and family. So, so yes, what's crazy is this pair obviously is, uh, you know, coveted to a degree. All the middle sizes, like his size, normal adult sizes, relatively affordable. Um, the small sizes and my size, 11 and a half, 12, expensive. So uh, if you stick around, I'm gonna unbox these in a second. If you like them, check out your size. Um, it'll be above retail when you faxes, uh, faxes, taxes, fees, shipping, all that stuff. But uh, if you're a middle size, you, you know, it won't hurt too much. So we got uh, the 990 Salehi Bembury, 990 V2, nine and a half, my friend's size. And uh, yeah, it doesn't say, doesn't give all the info like Nike shoes does, but you have this great packaging on the outside. Uh, made in the U.S., Slahey's name, uh, kind of sand aesthetic. These are the sand be the time, as you see right there. And, uh, yeah, dope, dope box. Uh, yeah. Oh, this is a key thing. Made in the USA, uh, here's the stipulation, is premium collection that contains a domestic value of 70% or greater. So, not the complete shoe, but 70% of the shoe was... Uh, manufactured here or assembled here so not everything they still get pieces from overseas still might assemble small small bits and parts overseas so just an fyi but sick box i like it here's the graphic that's pretty dope i don't know who did the illustration but i like it kind of kind of doing a clark griswold down some sand dunes if you saw the the ad campaign this is kind of what uh, Slahey had uh, the, sp uh, the the model doing. And here we go. The, he always does interesting ad campaigns for his rollouts, which I appreciate. <whistles> Look at those. These are pretty wild. These are so soft. That's the first thing I noticed when I picked these up. These are, like, so soft. Like, especially this liner. This ankle liner is real soft almost not not quite a velour but like almost like a felt kind of like a sweat pant material that's the first thing i noticed picking these up and you know the second thought is i'm really bummed i didn't get a pair in my size these are sweet i don't know if you can tell through my, my i'm using an iphone 14 uh the colors they look slightly different irl through than through my viewfinder here but um, these, this is sick. It looks a little washed out on my viewfinder, so I don't, I don't know if that's a setting or whatever, but I'm not going to correct it. Just FYI, um, they seem a little bit more rich and full, the colors, in, in person. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Okay, I'll go through some of the details here. Uh, don't worry, this, this, these aren't worn. This happened on the shoe I just unboxed. The 1906s, see, it's kind of like that worn, weathered look. Maybe they're doing the same thing here. So it's not worn, don't worry. Um, comes with three sets of laces, which is nice. You got this sand, I don't know the appropriate color term for this. Taupe, mauve, not taupe, um, but this peachy, peachy, uh, I want to say skin color, but that's that's probably uh, not going to make you want to buy them. But I'm not sponsored, so I don't really care too much. Um, New Balance, throw me a sponsorship. Uh, you got orange and this light cream. I think the the alternate laces might hit real nice. Contrast well against the upper. I would be probably tempted to go with either one of these if these were mine. These are fine, though, of course, the stock ones. Uh, can't go wrong with those. Uh, you have this leather swatch on the tongue, uh, purple stitching there, 
for the a 990. These are V2s, 990 V2s. These came out in the late 90s, I think 1998. I looked up before I, I turned on the camera. <clears throat> oh, and if you're still with me now that you've seen the shoe, stick around. I'm going to do a, a, a furriness comparison with some other New Balances. Th these, uh, these. So if you want to know how hairy the suede is, you're definitely going to want to stick around for that. Uh, okay, on back to the details. You got a furry carpeted N uh, New Balance logo. Salehi's tag right there. Looks like some reflective, this looks a little scuffed right there, a little quality control issue. Uh, reflective hits on the upper, just like most 990s. Different swatch of suede there, very cool. And then you got the webbing that he used in the 2002 Rs um, and uses in these 574 years. It's kind of been a signature fabric pattern for him, is this like deep cut hexagonal mesh uh you have his kind of design language thumbprint uh in the back heel i really like that this has kind of become his like uh pseudo logo uh absorb technology in the midsole different different color here and here's the outsole new balance n um yeah i really like these and then of course the cork salehi thumbprint new balance and uh logo lock up there on the for the insole now i do have <coughs> excuse me i do have a pair of 2002 r uh distressed uh new balances refined future what have you and they also have a cork insole check out that unboxing it's not super breathable breathable but it is kind of grippy so i don't take that for what you will um it is kind of grippy let's bring out the other shoe here But these are really nice. And then, like I said, uh, more leather around the, the the Achilles area here. But this liner, super soft. I haven't seen this type of liner on a shoe or New Balance yet. It's like this, yeah, nice, it's this nice, like, sweatpant material. I like it. Uh, yeah, I, I would say, now, I'm not a huge 990 V2 guy. Now, obviously, they're very similar to 990 V3s, but for whatever reason, I like these better. This was the model that came after the V3, uh, V2. They're up to, what, V5, V6? The 990 V3s are my favorite of that line of 990s. And subtle differences here. We'll try to compare them, why I like the 990 V3. It's kind of hard to artic articulate, but see this, like, mid-panel here, how it, there's no cutouts? There's cutouts in the 990 V3, and that just makes it, to me, a little bit more, I don't know, dynamic, uh, looks a little bit more athletic. I, I don't know, but you, there's more opportunities for using different fabrics or seeing different fabrics and seeing different colors. Maybe that's why the end's bigger, at least on this one. This might The small end might just be the Slahey touch there. The upper is pretty similar. You know, you got holes here. But the upper is pretty similar on, or the toe box area is pretty similar, I should say, um, to the 990 V2. But something about the V3's shape, I just, I don't know. It speaks to me more. It looks more like a true trainer of the 90s that I grew up with. Um, your flats that you'd wear to and from soccer games and soccer practices. You can see this mesh poking through there and these cutouts. I like that. And even though it's here, there's just more of it on the 990 uh, V3. This cut is deeper. I don't know, maybe. Maybe that's part of it. It just looks more, like it has more velocity. I don't know. It's hard to describe. Anyone else agree with me? Some people really like the V2s more than the V3s. It's, it's a subjective thing. I get it. So um, the 990 V2 also has this more triangular trapezoid shape, I would say. Whereas the V3, um, whereas the V3, I don't know, it's more of a wave. It's more like a W. Uh, that's maybe part of it. But yeah, it's slightly different shape. It like curves down here, whereas this is more like a wedge, looks like. It might be the optical illusion with this mid panel. Anyways, I'm probably boring a lot of you, but I just wanted to compare it on camera, articulate it to some, see if any of you agree with me. Uh, 
it's weird to me how I'm such a staunch 990 V3 fan, yet I really don't like the other models as much. Uh, so I really needed to look at it and compare them. Uh, but you do a great collab like this, or what was the, the Joe Fresh Goods? Those are 992s, though. Those aren't in the 990 bunch, but obviously very, very similar. Uh, it's hard to articulate, so you need to see them side by side. So there's just something about the 990 V3 that I love. I don't know. A lot of opportunities for mixing up colors, too. Like the Joe Fresh Goods outside clothes ones. Man, love those ones. So unfortunately, I can't try these on. So in lieu of trying them on, we will do a suede comparison test. How hairy is the suede? Try not to... These are, these are super dirty from camping and hiking, so I'll try not to get my friend's shoes dirty. But we got these. Salehi really likes his hairy suede. Uh, and he does lots of, these are all like outdoor inspired themed shoes and sneakers, which I appreciate because I, I like doing outdoor activities. I like hiking, I like camping. Um, but suede, you wouldn't think is the first material for outdoor activities. Yet yeah, these have been great so far. Super comfortable, very durable. Uh, these were like truly built for like hiking. Um, as best you can change a 574. You got a reinforced toe box chonky wide platform outsole um i don't want to make this video about them but the point is he makes shoes uh with the outdoors as inspiration and this one's more actually geared for the outdoors this not so much yet he chooses to use suede on, on all his new balances so far harry suede so there and then i just unboxed these i really like these this is the refined future 1906s 1906R, um, 1906, however you pronounce it, and also has some hairy suede. Really like these. Haven't worn them yet. Check out my unboxing video of those. So I think this, these two, if you look, have the same suede fur length. Probably the same number suede. Uh, if this looks longer, this might just because I've like cut it on rocks more. It's been roughed up more. I don't think this is like hairier than this. Man, unboxing videos are weird, right? We live in a weird world. Sneaker videos comparing suede length, but I just thought that'd be interesting. This looks just a touch, a hint shorter maybe. Here, I can compare these. These are both clean and unworn. This looks like a millimeter shorter. So Salehi has is the king of Harry Suede. That's going to be the thumbnail, thumbnail title, maybe. Salehi is the king of Harry New Balance Suede. Look at that. Yeah, that's that's hairier than this. That's that's one notch above this. He put on order the hairiest suede possible with New Balance. This isn't quite as hairy. I do think these five seven fours probably similar though. Probably the same suede fur length, Wookie hair length. All right, that's enough talk about suede um, height, shag height. Uh, I don't. I'm not a huge, huge suede fan, but I don't dislike it. It's just again, I, I like functional uh, utilitarian sneakers, and suede sometimes doesn't hold up in the rain, water, um, mud, and so sometimes I just like um, synthetic. Uh, rugged materials or leather but suede does look nice especially when you mix it up against different materials here you got like what what like five different materials here like let's count them like well just on the upper we won't count the midsole but like one two three four five six i mean that's crazy that's not count including the laces the tag or this this la lace hole there eyelet there oh seven like anyways it's great yeah uh, i mean the around the n eight it's like felt around the end okay let's give these a rating hmm if these were a 990 v3 might be a 9.5 i do i really like the colors because the colors are unique but you know, if there, if he did these in two different colorways, I would be interested to see what the other one was. I could see it beating out this. But I like the uniqueness of this colorway. All the different tones of peach 
sand, sunset. It's really great. Uh, dope. You know, the purple that you kind of get with a cloud sometimes and dusk. Just uh, really like it. So we had Water Be the Guide, Peace Be the Journey, and These Are Sand Be the Time. Kind of like his uh, naming language being consistent. Hmm. Do these get a nine? I want... These are close to a nine. I think I gave the other day in this unboxing, I gave these a 9.75 or an 8.75. I think I would give these a nine. I think I give these a nine. They're really good. I really wish I had these in my size. I kind of wish the end was a little bigger. Um, no, you know what? Do I like these better? I give these an 8.75. I'm going to give these an 8.85. Just a tad better than these, but not a 9. I think these these were a 990v3. Um, they would be a uh, 9. And I really like this colorway, but maybe if it was a different colorway, maybe I would uh, it would top it. I don't know. This is really great. So I like this colorway. I take it back. I love the colorway. Um... We're going to give it an 8.95, almost a 9. I really just, I think, is my preference of uh, the different models compared to the 990v2. That's what's doing it for me. It's just I know there, there's, for me, better, for me, not that they objectively are better, but for me, better uh, New Balance runner models. Really like it, though. 8.95. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, please uh, like, subscribe, do all the things. More low heat coming up soon. Maybe even some more New Balance uh, low heat. Maybe a 990 V3, another one made in the USA. So you're going to want to subscribe to see that, all you New Balance fans.